Mr. Morton. Contact. Large object at 500 feet bearing 175 relative range, 6,000 yards. Any idea what it is, Kowalski? It uh, profiles like a submarine, sir. Hold your fix on it. Aye, aye, sir. As soon as me had contact at 6,000 yards, it uh, looks very much like a submarine. Hmm. You're sure? As soon as not certain, move a tracking. No sub shows on the electronic board. Uh. Sparks, patch me through to the flying sub. I want to talk to Captain Crane. Aye, sir. Sea view to FS1. Come in, FS1. <laughs> FS1. Come in, Seaview. Admiral Nelson for you, sir. Stand by. Hello, Lee. We may have made a subcontact. Uh, if so, it's probably the one that's been attacking our ships in this area. Uh, do you want me to continue my search pattern? Affirmative. Now, look, Washington is just as interested in the base as in the sub itself. Are you sure that there is such an underwater base? Well, all the indications seem to point that way. Now, use your scanner. Continue searching the ocean floor. Aye, sir. Mr. Morton? Another contact? That's definitely his time, sir. Dead is still overtaking us. Pain's closing to 5,000 yards. I don't like this. No? Neither do I. Have the men stand at general quarters just in case. Aye, aye. Stand general quarters. Aye, sir. General quarters, general quarters, all hands, man battle stations, general quarters. Stations manned and ready, sir. Very well. Engineering manned and ready. Very well. Damage control. All stations manned and ready, sir. Very well. All battle stations manned and ready, sir. All right, stand by for a possible dive. All right. Where is this up now? Dead astern. Closing to 4,500 yards, sir. Looks like she's stalking us. Yes, sir, that's my guess. Torpedoes dead astern. All ahead, flank, hard right rudder. Hard right rudder, aye. All hands, brace. to the bottom of the sea. Full water tight integrity, all compartments. Right. 
That sub fired at point blank range. Obviously, the commander didn't know about our electronic hull shield. So you bet he knows now. The minute those torpedoes exploded before hitting us, he knew. I imagine he's working on a way to neutralize the shield right now. And if he finds it, the next salvo won't miss. Take her down, Chip. Prepare to dive. Clear the bridge. Clear the bridge. Lookouts below. Bridge cleared. Main hatch secured, sir. Sir. 200 feet. Make depth 200 feet. I said make depth 200 feet. Low negative to the mark. That one's playing steady, she goes. <laughs> depth 200, trim satisfactory, sir. Good, good. Now rig for silent running. All right. Now hear this, all hands. Rig for silent running. Rig for silent running. What's this up? Still on our tail, sir. Range 5,000 yards. Mm -hmm. Well, she's not outrunning us anymore. Keep an eye on her. Aye, yes, sir. Uh, Trenton. Call Beach in the missile room. I want tubes one and three ready for firing and stand by. Aye, sir. Beach, this is tracking control. Prepare tubes one and three for firing. Stand by. Okay, Sharky. Check out the tubes. Load one and three. Sharky, this is Beach. Tubes one and three ready for firing. Okay, stand by for firing. Seeking torpedoes. We could have missed it had to be misfire. <laughs> the two torpedoes, that's almost impossible. Where's the target? Said it. It's gone. Gone? gone. How could it be? Well, I was tracking it up until we fired. All of a sudden, it's not there. Are you sure, Kowalski? It's not our equipment. No, sir. That sub just isn't there anymore. I know it sounds impossible, sir, but... No, no, it doesn't, Elaine. Secure silent running. Apparently, our friend has had enough. How do you know, sir? Well, we've lost all contact with him, haven't we? It'd take him at least an hour to get out of our sonar range. Then the theory about the underwater sub pen is correct. I'm afraid there's no doubt of it now. You, you can also secure the alert. I am. I hear this, all hands. Stand down from general quarters. Secure the silent running. I still want to check out the news fire. All right, go ahead. Chief, those torpedoes we fired never exploded. Who's in charge of the firing detail? 
That was Beach, Mr. Morton. He's the new CPO in charge of missiles. And if I'm needed, I'll be in the missile room. Thanks, sir. Save you the flying sub. Save you the flying sub. Come in. Yes, Admiral. What is it? We were attacked by that sub. Did you destroy it? Negative. But there's definitely a secret sub pen on the bottom. You can locate it with the scanner, pinpoint it for us, and we'll take care of the rest. I will do. Supervise the loading of those torpedoes? Yes, sir. Are you aware that both of them misfired? Yes, sir. I've heard of misfires before, but never two in the same salvo. Neither have I. But if someone wanted to deactivate the warhead, he could do it with a simple adjustment on the nose. That's right, Mr. Morton. But nobody went anywhere near those percussion caps before loading. Those fish were primed and ready for firing. Thanks. I just wanted to make sure. Any time, sir. Chip, this is Nelson. Yes, sir. Captain Crane is trying to locate the concealed sub pen. The moment we get the coordinates, we're going to knock it out. All right, sir. I'll come back topside at once. Down the bottom, there's no doubt about it now, sir. Uh, Bart, try to contact the flying sub. Keep the frequency open, call till you get an answer. Yes, sir. Admiral, I've been picking up some sort of signal, sir. Mm. Oh, what kind? Electronic dots and dashes, sir. Could you read the pattern? No, sir. It wasn't Morse. Another code entirely. Something I couldn't make any sense out of. Mm-hmm. Did you get a fix with the directional finder? Yes, sir. But the electronic impulses must have confused the instruments. Well, why do you say that? Well, because the origination point seemed to come from right here. Aboard Seagate. Oh. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I see. Well, if you hear it again, let me know at once. Yes, sir. Try to contact the skipper and keep patched into the control room system. Aye, ah, yes, sir. Sea view to FS1. Come in, FS1. Sea view to FS1. 
Come in, FS1. Captain Crane, this is Sparks. Do you read me? Sea view to FS1. Come in, FS1. <coughs> Admiral Nelson, I'm getting some sort of response. Lee, is that you? Can you hear me? <coughs> I hear you coughing, Kate. Can you use your voice? Admiral, I, uh... I read you. Well, what's your condition, Ted? Can you raise the flags up? <coughs> going to try to get to you. Just, just hold on. At least this holds in text. We've got to reach him before his air supply is done. Now let's get moving. An overing set course 170, 10 degrees down bubble. Course 170, aye, sir. 10 degrees down bubble, aye, sir. Engineering ahead standard. Ahead standard, aye. Steady as she goes. Aye, aye, sir. Steady as she goes. Secure your watch. It's an order straight from the exec. Clear out. trying to adjust the trim. No accident in engineering. No, sir. Well, then it has to be the circuitry room. Raise them. Circuitry room report. Circuitry room report. Chief, get down on the double, find out what's going on. Aye, sir. Yeah, that's just what we needed. Breakdown. How long can Lee hold out down there? 
Now I wish that somebody would tell me. you the same question. Mm. Where's the secretary, White? I don't know, Sharky. I just got here. I thought there might be trouble in here when the power went off. Mm, well, there's trouble, all right. Mr. Morton, this is Sharky. I'm in the secretary room. Put one of the duty men on. I want to find out why they didn't answer the call. I can't. The secretary watch isn't here. What do you mean, not there? Who relieved them? Hmm. Chief, there's a main power cutoff built into the secretary. Uh, you been briefed on that? No, sir. All right, listen, I'll tell you about it. I guess you won't need me. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'm listening, Admiral. Describe to me exactly where you're standing. Well, I'm at the uh, mic bracket facing away from the door. Mm. All right, now, directly to your left, first control panel, there's a single on-off switch. I see it. Mm. All right, you just throw the switch to the on position, and that's all there is to it. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> What did Sharky do down there? Uh, oh. Ships are better about it. I'll take care of things here. Uh. Damage control reporting. This is Nelson. Go ahead. We have full watertight integrity on the hull, sir. But our control system's badly damaged. How long to repair? With a full crew on it, we may make it in an hour, sir. Captain Crane could be dead by then. Make it a half hour or less. Aye, sir. Come on. Are you badly hurt? No, sir, I'll, I'll make it. Well, what happened in there? The Admiral gave you careful instructions. Why didn't you follow them? I never got a chance. Somebody jumped in from behind. That's how the controls got so messed up. 
somebody on this ship attacked you? Who? I don't know. I never got a look at him. Come on, let's report this to the Admiral. <laughs> Have a spy aboard. Of course, we've got a spy aboard. I've been fairly sure of that ever since Sparks reported that unexplained transmission. Admiral, can, can anyone hear me? Originally. Admiral, there's something you should know. All right, go on. <laughs> Just before the crash, I located a hidden submarine pen. I have the coordinates. Our depth check. 946, sir. It's too deep for conventional diving, but with a strong helium mixture. Do you really think you have a chance to reach him with divers? We have to reach him at once. There's no time for repairs. Now alert the two best divers aboard, notify the missile room, we're sending him out immediately. Aye, aye. This depth, sir? That's why we'll need a pair of tanks with a special helium mixture. I'm sending Kowalski down to the diving locker to give you a hand. Meet him there. Aye, sir. Get a pair of the regular air tanks and meet me at the diving locker on the double. Mr. Morton ordered me to come down. Yeah, he told me he would come in. Oh, fine, fine. Well, just so there's no mistake, he wants me to check out those special tanks. You know where they are, don't you? Oh, right in that locker, aren't they? Yeah, right. Come on, I'll show you. Now, these are the air tanks they'll use, Chief, and, uh, man, that's very important. If those divers should go out with the ordinary tanks at this depth, they wouldn't last more than, than five minutes. Well, thanks, Kowalski. But you didn't need to come all the way down here to tell me that. That's okay, Chief. It's okay. That's the way Mr. Morton is. He likes to double check on everything. Well, he needn't worry. We'll take good care of his divers, right? Right. Well, if 
both know what to do. It's a deep dive, but you're protected by the helium mixture in your tanks. Here we are, sir. All ready to go. Oh, wait, you're, you're sure about the mixture? Remember, it's their lives. No problem, sir. Well, well go ahead. <laughs> Testing. Testing. They're flying, sir. Everything's okay. Good. Good. Pete, I can't read you. Repeat. What's wrong? Oh, it can't be. The helium, the mixture. They were given the wrong tanks. Where's Pete? Sir, the bet he is, he's the spy. But he can't be very far, and I'll go get him. Beach is our man. He just cost us two divers. Now get every man you can from the repair parties and round him up. Aye, aye. You guys take horror to thee. Beach is tough, but he's unarmed. Now you won't have any trouble taking him if you find him. Move.
Chief Sharky and Carter to see. Yes, Chief. Beach is at the aft bend. Bring an arm party. We've got him trapped. But watch it. He's armed. Beach. Oh, he's flat. He's cut off. Up here, I'll give you a hand. They're doing the best they can do, sir. But Crane might be dead by that time. I'm going out after him myself. You can't do that. You saw what happened in the diving party. Yes, they were murdered as sure as if they'd been shot. But I'm going to see it doesn't happen again. If you do reach him, what then? Revive him. Get the coordinates and radio them to you. I want you to attack at once and blow up that hidden sub pen. What about the sub? Nothing, sir. Not since it disappeared. All right, keep after it. Don't let up for a second. If it moves at all, notify Mr. Morton at once. Aye, aye, sir. I'm receiving that code again, sir. Hmm. Now, this is definitely coming from somewhere aboard this ship. Definitely, sir. Where's the portable detector? Okay, you are taping this. Yes, sir. Good. We'll try to break the code. Meanwhile... I'm going to locate that transmitter. Yes, sir.
see. The animal's trapped in there. The claws are on the bell, the very grass. I can't, the power boost has been sabotaged and it won't close all the way. Better get a detail down here and cut through this hatch. Information time. There's got to be some way. Safety lock on the exterior hatch. If it's turned, the lock in this valve is automatically released. That lock is on the outer hull. How does anybody get outside without using this escape hatch? The open well in the pressure chamber. Get a diver. Never mind a diver. Sick bay. Get a detail down to the mist room with oxygen on the double. Aye, aye, sir.
it's time for me to get off this boat. I'll need your help. You can't leave. Why not? My work's done. Maybe. But we're both expendable. No more. We've done everything we have to do aboard this ship. We stay. Those are orders. Yeah, you're right. We stay. Uh, let's get him out of the way. We have to keep him concealed until the sea view sunk. Maybe you're expendable, but not me. It's going to be a pleasure to square things off. You won't enjoy it long. You're trapped here, beach. You, you can't get away. You got outside. I'm going the same way. Hey, you're, you're a little late for that, aren't you? Why should I be expendable when your hull protection's gone? Now take off your diving jacket. I don't want any holes in it. I said off. Suppose you think you can swim back to your hidden sub pen. I know I can. Hurry up. I'll get it later, thanks. Oh. Goodbye, Sharky. Wait! <laughs> Be. He refuses to stay in sick bay. Just ordered dry clothes and put him on. He's probably right on my heels. Now that's great news. Damage control. All systems now operative. Hey, that ship. Now get us off the bottom and head for the flying sub. We may still be in time. All right, sir. Stand by to blow all ballast tanks and get underway. I see. <laughs> All stop. All stop. I. Open nose hatch. Act 
Activate magnetic recovery gear. Aye, sir. found this in his hand, the coordinates of the hidden sub-pen. Perfect. Lay a missile on that target. Aye, aye. That sub, it's back. Chip, get us moving before she fires. All ahead, flank. All ahead, flank. Aye, sir. Got the fire first, or we're dead. Missile room, anyone on duty there? There sure is, Admiral. I just rounded up a crew. Chief, how long to load tubes one and three? About five seconds, sir. Load one and three. We can fire any time you give the word. And Admiral, this time I guarantee they'll go off. Well done, Chief. I stand by for firing one and three. One and three, aye, sir. <laughs> Enemy torpedoes fired, sir. They're headed straight for us. Hard right, rider. Bring her around full. <laughs> torpedoes are posing fast. Ring for explosion. Missile room fire one. One fire sir. Fire three. Three fires. Six seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Scratch one sub, sir. Sick bay, how's Captain Craig? According to Doc, he's fit for duty. Are you out of your mind? You're supposed to be resting. I tell Doc to let him in on the kill. Am I too late? Well, not exactly. We've got the sub. Now we're going after the sub pen. Uh, like to handle it? Missile room, this is the skipper. What tubes are ready for firing? Two and four, sir. Very well. Fire two. Fire four.